Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about lighting. I am not coming to you as an expert as much as a beginner YouTuber. And I have found that a lot of times I want to film and there's not enough light coming in through the window and I know some of my videos are dark and all that. So I finally decided to invest in a couple of lights, but I didn't want to get too elaborate because like I said, I'm just a you know, making content videos. I'm not into, you know, anything fancy. So it took me a lot of time to do some research and I'm going to show you today what I finally decided to get and how it is affecting the video. As you can see right now, I have a screen behind me and it's just kind of drab and I wanted to put lighting on it so it would be brighter and whiter. And so that's what my hope is. But let's go ahead and unbox the lights so that you can see um, what they look like and everything and then we'll come back and put the lights here in my office we're going to a different room because i have a really small area that i'm working in right here and it would be hard to unbox everything and put it up on video so let's go unbox the light hey there i brought you to another room where we can unbox the two lights it's called phobatech is the company that i chose and one of the reasons I chose this company was because I watched somebody else do a, an unboxing and describing it. And one of the things that stuck out for me with this company was the sturdy, um, the girl that showed it to me um, said how sturdy the stands were. And she's right. These are super, super, super sturdy stands. And I thought that was important. You can have all kinds of lights, but if you don't have sturdy stands to put them on then you're really defeating your purpose so you have to be careful cheap is cheap expensive sometimes is overpriced so i tend to look for things in the middle i spent less than 150 dollars for two and you can spend like 90 dollars for one and i thought it wouldn't hurt to have two i know some people get three four or five but for me being just a youtuber i thought that was enough one of the other things that i looked at was the voltage um, how many light bulbs did it take? And I was he reluctant, hesitant, I wasn't sure how this worked, but on the lighting part, you can hit different switches on here and it'll say, just turn two on, just turn three on, just turn five on. So you have that option and you have five different 45 watt bulbs in this particular one. So you're gonna look at your um, bulb wattage. Um, if you want it really bright, you might want to go with the 60 watt or 120. I went with the 45. I'm just looking for um, light to add to my room um, with the daylight. Um, I'm not a photographer, so you know I know you can get into all kinds of crazy detailed things. So that's what I looked for. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, you've got little buttons on here. Well, let me see where they're at. It was right, uh, oh, right here on the back, um, where it tells you, um, you know, you can do two lights, one light in the center, or the two other two lights opposite from each other. So you've got a combination of three, one, four, or five of lights that you can turn on. So that's pretty cool. Now I want to show you how easy. This is the size box that it came in. It's it's not big at all. And right away, the first thing that I took out were the stands. And I just want to show you how easy the stand was. Um, just pull it up. There you go. And you can tighten it. And then as far as the height, you have three more little screws, just like any um, stand. You can make them pretty tall. So if you want something to go really high overhead, you can do that or you can keep them low. Um, extremely sturdy. I'm really impressed with the stand, to be honest. All right, so after that, you don't put the light on right away. They ask you to um, fix it up as a soft light. <clears throat> now, when you go to buy your Fovitech or whatever lighting system you want, this is called a soft box. This was a pain in the ass to put together, <laughs> I'm just telling you. Um, I think the second one will be easier, but when you put it on, you have to put these little poles in, and that last one was kind of hard. Just make sure on the back, everything's not Velcroed while you're trying to put that last pole in, and it'll, it should work. But it wasn't fun. Um, like I said, I think the second one will be better. But you can put your bulbs in, you can go ahead and get it put on your um, stand, and then there's a piece that goes over the top like this to soften the light. So I'll have this all set up when I go back down into my office um, and when I start using it. But all those pieces are in this little bag. So it's really handy. Um, 
one of the things from my research that I was reading is you want to make sure when you go to buy your light that you pay attention to the the plug. Um, we have a 10, 110 voltage plug-in system here in the United States, so you want to make sure that's what you're buying. Um, if you're out of the country, make sure you're buying whatever you need. I think you're 220. Um, don't take my word for it, but pay attention to that because not every set will work everywhere. Um, so basically, um, that's the unboxing of this, and those are the reasons I bought it. There's one other thing you want to pay attention to. You're going to see that some of these lighting systems are really, really cheap, and some are really expensive, and the reason is because you're buying the voltage, um, the watts. I bought 2,000 watts, so when all my lights are turned on on one lighting system, I can get 2,000 watts. Like I said, I can turn them off and, and lower it, and increase it by adding more lights, but you can buy a thousand watts, you can buy 650 watts. Obviously, the lower the wattage, the cheaper it's gonna be in price. The more wattage, some of these are 4,500, the more expensive. So you have to decide what is it that you need and what are you using it for. I kind of went with the middle because I wanted the five different bulbs and I figured I could lower it if I want and use one bulb at a time or increase it. And that's what I justified it. I may have too much, I don't know. Um, but I wanted you to see <laughs> from the research that I did, um, I definitely recommend this as far as sturdiness. Um, like I said, you can change how you buy it by looking at the wattage and things like that. All right, so I'm gonna put everything together and then put it back down in my office and then you will see the difference in the lighting when I turn everything on down there. We'll see you in a minute. And there you have it. The lighting is so much better. I need to play around with it where I position it and things like that. But you can see already that light <laughs> makes a big difference. Um, one of the things I didn't talk about was the size of the soft box. The larger the box, that means the larger area you want to cover. So if you're just doing it like I am, um, maybe you're doing a podcast or a YouTube video just from the waist up, a headshot more or less, it doesn't matter. Your box can be smaller. So they sell them like 20 inches by 20 inches and 20 by 28. Either one would work. The set that I got has 20 by 28. They're a little bit bigger. Um, I was hoping that maybe in the future, if I set up a little studio, it would cover maybe um, somebody sitting on the couch or something like that. So think ahead of what your plans are. But I am very, very, very pleased with the quality of this product. Um, go ahead and hit the link below. You can, it's the exact same one that I bought, but take that information and do more research and see what works best for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video.